Path Pilot Quick Tips Robot Edition. So in this short video, I'm going to go over the different weight commands that are available through our conversational programming interface. You'll see that I've got a very simple program created here. It simply moves to the home position of the robot and then moves to a waypoint. And like most robot programs, it will do this indefinitely. Now let's go over to the conversational tabs and I'll select the wait tab. The first option here is to wait for a period of time. It's the easiest wait command to understand. I can go in here and change this value in seconds, add it to the program. Now I would expect that if I save this program and run it, I'll go to the home position and then to waypoint one and then I'll pause for two and a half seconds. And there it is pausing. Okay, let's go back to the wait tab and talk about some of the other some of the other options here. We could also wait for a digital input to change state. Here I've got digital input one selected, but it could be any one of these digital inputs. I could wait for it to transition to a low state, meaning zero volts present, or I could have it transition to a high state. Another option we have is to pause the program. If I insert a pause command, the robot will pause. The user will have to then press cycle start to continue. Let's see what that looks like. I'll remove the sleep command. We'll save it and we'll run. So now we're sitting here and you can see the feed hold button LED is active and it's as if we've paused the robot program. If I hit cycle start, the program will commence again. All right, let's go back and explore the optional pause. Optional pause is like MO1 break in CNC world. We'll go ahead and add an optional pause to the program. I'll delete the previous pause command, we'll save it, and I will start the program. Now you see the program is paused just like before, but one thing I want to point out, if I deactivate optional pause and we start the program again, the program will continue as if the pause were not there. And that's because the optional pause button has been deselected. People who are familiar with the CNC version of PathPilot will recognize optional pause as a form of MO1 break in G-code. Lastly, you notice that programs by default run in a loop. If you want to run the program one time and then exit the program, we can add an exit statement. I'll add the exit statement, we'll delete the optional pause, I'll save, and we can go back and run the program. As expected, the program runs just once. I do quickly want to talk about one other type of wait command available, and that is that if you have a connected machine tool controlled by PathPilot, you can have the machine tool, you can have the robot program wait for the machine tool that is connected to be in a, in a state. You can wait for it to be ready, idle, disconnected, in e-stop state, or running. And those may be advantageous if you are programming a coordination between a PathPilot milling machine, for example, and this robot. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy our quick tip videos.